Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Yes. Hello, good evening. Hi, my two friends from San Miguel are the first ones. <laughs> exactly. How was your day? It's, it wasn't it, a good day. It wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. But <sighs> tomorrow is going to be better, Helen. Tomorrow will be worse. Really? <laughs> yeah, but. Okay. My job. All right. What about you, Maria? <laughs> Normal. Normal. <laughs> okay, fine. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Sophie. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day? You had a good day? Yes. Good, good, nice. So what is today's date? Yeah, please. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday the 30th. 30. Yes, Thursday the 30th. Okay. So 2020. How is the weather in San Miguel right now, Maria and Helen? Is it hot as usual? Hot. As usual. Okay. Fine. Okay, so it's um, it's Thursday. We only have a tomorrow's class, and then we go on vacation. Okay. So while you're on vacation, um, you know, try to practice whenever you guys have the chance. If you have a person in your house, boyfriend, husband, friend, whatever, uh, try to practice um, at home. Okay. So let's begin. Do you remember the activities we did yesterday? Yes, we talk about menus, new restaurant. Yes, menus in a restaurant, yes. What are the different sections of a menu? Uh, what are the different sections of a menu? Starters, snacks. Main course, dessert, 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 drinks, drinks. And drinks, beverage. Okay. Drinks, beverage. Okay. So when we say beverage, uh, what can you mention as an example of beverage? Lemonade. Lemonade. Soda. Soda. Coffee. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Wine. Wine. So when you go to the section of beverages, you know, the, the options that you offer can be very ample. So soda, natural drinks, coffee, hot tea, yogurt. How do you say liquidos in English? Blend. Blending. Blend. Blend. Blends. Blends, yes. Blend. Yes. So uh, you can have hot drinks, cold drinks, uh, alcoholic drinks, non-alcoholic so you can have variety in your menu. Now, what about when we talk about um, desserts? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, uh-huh. Brownie. Chocolate cake. Okay. Ice cream. Cheesecake. Uh, ice cream, cheesecake, uh-huh. Brownie. Brownies, mm-hmm. Can you cake. include fruits as part of the dessert? Yes. Sure, sure. Okay. And what about the cocktail? main dish? A, a fruit cocktail? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. What about the main dish, the strong dish of the restaurant? Which ones can you mention? Grilled fish. Grilled fish? Uh huh. What else? Only fish. Chicken. Chicken. No, chicken. Uh -huh. Meat. Meat. Now, meat is divided in different categories. 
what kind of meat are you familiar with? Mm. What are the common meats in El Salvador? Cow yeah, so. meat. <laughs> okay, so let, let me write it in. Mm. So, how do you say res? Beef. 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 How do you say cerdo? Pork. 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 Very good. Pollo? Chicken. Chicken. Uh -huh. Pescado? Fish. Fish. Pavo? Turkey. 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 Okay. So those are like the most uh, popular meats that we have in El Salvador. Which one is your favorite? Which beef. one is your favorite? Beef? Okay. Does anybody beef. prefer pork above the others? Me. Okay, you, you like pork. You prefer pork. Sometimes. Okay. The pork has a, a better taste. Okay, fine, good. Does anybody prefer fish? out of all the meat. Somebody, anybody? Do you like fish? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, does anybody prefer chicken? Yes, I prefer chicken. Okay. Yeah, chicken is, is very popular and it's very cheap and it's easy to, to get, you know. You go to cafeterias, you go to restaurants, all the cafeterias and restaurants, they offer you chicken, yep. What is your favorite part of the chicken? Breast. The breast, okay. I love the breast too. Does anybody prefer the legs? Or the wings? No? Okay. Um, any questions about yesterday, about the menus? No? Okay, so let us begin. Um, we're going to be working on page 14. Our objectives is to be using um, might and could. When do we use might and could? Do you know the answer? What is the function of might and could? So you said, next week I might visit my family in Sonsonate. I might visit my family in Santana. What is might? Uh, obligation? Mm, not exactly. Like a possibility? A possibility, mm -hmm. yes. So you say, well, tomorrow I finish work early, so I might go to sleep early. I might go visit my cousins or whatever. What about could? What is the function of could? Like a suggestion? suggestion? Okay, good, good. A suggestion, all right. Okay, so let us begin. Please go to page 14. Let me see this here. Page 14. Mm -hmm. Right there. Let me open the book. So how was your day, guys? You guys, uh, are you guys tired? Or do you sure, feel... I have. Yes. I, I have a question. Ask me. I, I didn't see clearly, clearly uh -huh. yes. the, dif the difference between cool and might. Okay. Uh, both, both are model. Yes. Both of them are models, yes. But but if but when I use might, it's 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 more polite than okay. cool. Um, not exactly. Here is the difference. Um, 
when we talk about may, might, and could, um, you're talking about possibilities. They are synonyms. The difference is that one um, could has more possibilities than the others. So once again, the three are synonyms, but could is more possible than the other two. So, and we use them to give suggestions. So if I ask you, look, how can I increase uh, the number of clients in my restaurant? You said, well, you could offer specials. You might want to consider uh, having a, a manager in your um, restaurant. So in today's scenario, we're going to be using it to give suggestions. Is, it, is that clear, um, Ronald? Yes. Okay. All right, may I have a volunteer to read the first two questions we have here? What would you do to introduce a new menu item? Okay. What do you think about giving free samples of new products? Okay, good. So here, thank you, uh, Alonso. Uh, what will you do to introduce, no, is it Alonso? No. Uh, what, what's your, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Okay, good. Thank you, Samuel. So the first question is very general. What will you do to introduce a new menu item? So we discussed this question before, and the second question is very specific. What do you think about giving free samples of new products? So right here, the first question is very general. Give whatever opinion you want. And the second one, you have to be very specific with your opinion about giving free samples of new products. Um, any questions before we start speaking? What, 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 what means a uh, free, sam free samples? Okay, does anybody uh, know the meaning of free samples? Muestras meaning... gratis. Muestra gratis, right. Okay. Muestra gratis. So let me see. Where are you guys? I always lose this, uh, this group right here. Okay, so let me send you the image to the WhatsApp chat. And if not, you can take it from here. So let me make the pairs, break rooms. I will make seven, create rooms, add a room, let's go. I have it in my notebook. I can share the screenshot. No, it's okay. not necessary. I, I write there. And you can okay. see. It. Okay. You see the questions? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what will you do to introduce a new menu item? And what do you think about giving free samples of new products? That's going to be your mission. Start okay. speaking. For the second question. I will speak louder. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened with my computer. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Is our work? I can hear you. 
Are you discussing the two questions? Mercy and Araceli? Yes, but we have problems. Oh, with the, with the, with the, with the audio, okay. Yeah. Hopefully it will get fixed. For example, um, um, give me an example for a restaurant gives a uh, free sample. Free sample. <gasps> um. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Are you discussing the questions? Yep. Yeah. But we just just now uh, we we just search the 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 word introduce uh, that means presentar. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. That is the right okay. um, pronunciation uh, uh, translation actually. Okay. Yes. Okay. And this question we need to to think about. Uh, yeah, what your personal will... opinion. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, your okay. personal opinion. Maybe a strategic, co commercial, a strategic, for yeah, example. Yeah, strategy. Strategy. Yes. Strategy. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Good. Thanks. Good. We can do. We can give to to the customers a little VIP card. What do you think? What is your opinion, Christian? Um, le le comentaba a Wendy. Tenemos una cuenta for for community manager. Okay, mm. so you mean like uh, like the first question? The first question, mm -hmm. a new menu item. How would you introduce a new menu item, Christian? What would be your technique, your strategy? Okay, sales strategies. Sales okay. strategies. Okay, fine. What else? Any other suggestions? Um, maybe we can put a promotion in a fan page. Okay. Uh, make a mention with a new item of uh, in the min in the menu. Uh huh. And we can give a uh, we can give to our customer. Uh, VIP card. Uh -huh. Good. Como de los sellitos. Yeah, yeah. Every time they come, you stamp the card. Uh -huh. Or you put a sticker. That, that could work. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Um, a focus group is a, it's a meeting. Uh, it's a meeting, but the people uh, have have opinion about the product, the, but they don't know what is the, what is the company. Uh, new, it's a new business. I think that it's a risk for the, you can lose money or give it uh, free samples. Yeah, I, I, no sé cómo decirlo, pero es solo una inversión de lo que vas a ganar prácticamente, es dar una, un free sample. Free sample. Mm -hmm. I know, I know that is an inversion, but it's not always work. We, in, in the bakery that I work, we give a free sample to the new clients or the new customer, but you can give it and they can buy or not. So it's a, a risk inversion. Okay. For me, it depends. You can say, 
I will give, I will give, I will give, I will give. Not but always, not always. You, not you, have exactly. to, you have to think how, mu how much money will you in invest in the free samples and if they, if they will be successful for you. So if you invest a lot of money in the free samples, at the long time of the a la larga, you will lose more than the money that you can gain. Okay. Um, could be. Could but be. usually, Saborear. Uh, yes, uh, I think they state, but I don't. Taste. You know, taste. Yeah, it's, taste is good. It's, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, so if I'm preparing a lemonade for you, and I said, okay, taste it. And taste say, it. Oh, too much sugar. Yeah. Or you say, I need more sugar. Yeah, okay. so taste is good. Taste, taste is good, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, I think... Ya me escucho. Me neither. But I send you a, a message. What happened, Araceli? Are you having a problem with your audio? Yes, um, I, I write in uh, uh, with Mercy. Okay. In the chat, okay. because we can chat, hear it. Yes. Okay, Mercy, can you hear Araceli? Uh, Sometimes. I guess, uh, <laughs> Araceli, okay. can you hear Mercy? Yes. Okay. So, so Araceli, you can perfectly hear Mercy. Sí. Yes. Mercy, you hear Araceli on and off. Yes, but I oh. have a lot of problems. So okay. we we were chatting. Okay. About I, this oh. Other oh, problem. Yeah, and that's a good uh, um, alternative. Like, if you're having problems with the audio, it's good that you start chatting. That's good. Okay. Yes, we're almost finished. In Sonsonate. He lives in Sonsonate. He travels every day. Every day. And on a bus. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, very fine. Good. Fine, teacher. Uh, practice, practice. Yeah. Good. Very good. You know, <laughs> okay. like, and, and that is good. When you finish the questions or the speaking part from the book, just mm -hmm. keep talking. Just keep talking. Mm -hmm. You can, you can perfectly change the topic and 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 keep practicing the language. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, who uh, travels to Sonsonate, Christian? No, um, I. I say to Jimena, I have a partner. He lives in Sonsonate. Okay. And and same to me. Uh, we are travel every day. He he travel to uh, Sonsonate. I am travel to Santa Ana to San Salvador for my job. Right. Okay. So, what is the distance from your from your house to your work, Christian? In kil kilometers? Kilometers or, for, or, for or time? Time. time. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. For, for traffic, maybe three hours. Three hours? Three hours for mm -hmm. traffic. <laughs> okay, where, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Okay, and where is I your work? In San Salvador, the Cameron office. Oh, in Paseo, um, General, Paseo Escalón. General Escalón. Oh, okay. What part of Santana I, are you in? Um, Urbanización El Trébol. Okay. It's, uh, uh, before Metro Centro. Right. Yes, I know El Trébol. I know El Trébol. Mm -hmm. So, how do you go from your house to work? Do you drive? No, I travel in a bus. On bus. Oh, okay. So, that's mm -hmm. why three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yes. I I took I born took or 
on board. No, I took or, or I, I catch. I catch um, uh, three three bus for three different for, lines. Three different lines. Okay. All right. And Jimena, uh, your in work moment, is here, huh? Yes, Christian. Yes. No, in, in this moment for quarantine, I, I work in my home. Right. You're doing home office. Yeah, in, in model home office. Okay. Well, that's good. Jimena, your, your work is near your house. Yes, at Santa Tecla. Okay. It's more near. Okay. That's good. All right. So I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Um, so I need, I just need two volunteers. The first one to answer the first question. What will you do to introduce a new menu item? What will you do? Ronald, can hear you. Yes, teacher. Full about preference. What is it? Full about preference. Okay. Food preference. Uh, encuestas, teacher. Oh, polls. 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 Okay, about food preference. Okay, that is one. And what do you think about giving free samples of a new product? What do you think about giving free free samples? It's a great idea. Okay. Anybody else? What do you think about giving free samples? Stephanie said it's a great idea. It's good. May I have the opinion of someone else? It's a, it's a great idea because it uh, attract the public attention. Okay. Right. So if you're giving something free, everybody will go like this. Everybody likes free things. So nobody will make a bad face to your offer. Look, it's free. Take it. Everybody hmm. will be like, yeah and even return for repetition sometimes. All right. Okay, um, any questions or comments in the first part? Yes, teacher. Yes, Ximena. How do you say emprendedores or emprender? Uh, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Let okay. me write it here. Entrepreneur entrepreneur so how can you explain the word entrepreneur how can you explain that word emprendedor how can you explain that word when or like people to maybe start a new a new business good good start a new business Good. It's people that want to start a new business. Right. Okay. His own business. Yeah. His own business or her own business. Right. Good. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments? No. All right. So let's go to part two. I need a volunteer to read part two. Let me see this here. We got the book. Uh, okay, volunteer to read part two. Somebody, anybody. Read following strategies to introduce a new menu item. Check the box next to this strategies. strategies. You will consider it implement, implementing. Okay. Implementing, okay, so we're talking about a new item. What will you do? Okay, Luis, can you please read the first um, uh, option? Provide. Provide free full samplings of your new products. Very good. Another volunteer for the second one? Add new items to your website. Very good. Someone else, number three. Use 
social network sites to share the information about your new products. Very good. Another volunteer. Advertise. Advertise. Uh, the products in the white space of the receipts. Receipts. Very good. Receipts. And, and who wants to read the last one? Give a promotional offer that incl includes the new item to customer after a recipe visit. Very good. Okay. Um, any questions about pronunciation or meaning of vocabulary? Receipts. Receipts. Receipts means recibos. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, how do you pronounce? Items or items. 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 The word it, it's a it's an English word, and sometimes we say items because we have that word in Spanish too. But the real pronunciation is item. Items. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Someone else. Someone else. Someone else. Let me. What do you say, teacher? What yes? do you say? Includes, includes. Uh, where is that word? Incluir? Oh, yeah. Give a promotional offer that includes, que incluya el nuevo producto, the new item. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Any okay. questions? What's the meaning of advertise? Anuncio. Anunciar. Anuncio. Yes. Anuncio. Advertise the products. Okay. Anuncio. Yeah, advertise is right here, right here, advertise, yes. Any questions or comments before you start working in groups? Sorry, I didn't hear the, the meaning of advertise. Advertise, advertise means anunciar. Oh, okay. Promocionar. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, thank you. Okay, anybody else has another opinion or comments? before you start speaking in groups? No? All right, so let's move this person here. We're gonna move this person here. We're gonna move this person here. And Jimena goes to room five. Christian goes to room five too. And Wendy goes to room seven. All right, start talking. So you're working in groups of four and three. Oh, I missed um, sign two. Room eight. Hello, Helen. Can you hear me? Yes, it's a microphone. You don't have headphones. No, I don't have. Oh, that's the that's the difference. Yes, I think that. But it's still it's still listen very well. 
Yeah, I hear you well. Yes. Strategy. The social network. Yeah, the social, the social network. network site. Promotion, pro, pro, promotional new product free. And, okay. and what do you think about give a, promo, a promotional after that include the new items to customer after a recent visit? Focus group. In, in, in focus group, uh, people taste the, the new, for in this case, the new food. I think it's a, it's a good way to introduce the new product. Not okay. in this moment, but uh, it's very used this, this way, this focus group. You, you say that usually the people use that way in the case of, of, of that? Uh, you, you get uh, money because they consume other, other items. Mm -hmm. Give a promotional offer. Um, se dice? El costo es mayor. Uh, yeah. no, no sé cómo se dice. El costo es mayor. The cost is higher. The cost is higher. Uh -huh. And the um, the client. And then everyone is talking about the 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 new product. The, um, for me, it's a good strategy because the social network right now is very, how do you say, imponent or? Imposing. Imposing right now because everyone is on, on social network. Right. Every, everyone is on Instagram and Facebook and it's a good place to, to promote it. The, the new business or the new products, even if you have a, a business in your home. So, good. I, I think that's my opinion about the social network. For free, free, for example, Which one are you doing? We are discussing about the strategies that oh. we consider. The most effective? Uh-huh. Okay. And which one do you consider to be the, the, the most effective one? Which would be your best option? Um, we are, we are discussing about um, use social network sites because in this moment all restaurants are working in 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 this in the social network. Okay. And as as we have the last option, give a promotional offer that includes include the new items to customer after a recent visit. Okay. All right. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it, 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 it's a, uh, when you offer the new product at a, included in a, in a, with a special price, you know, people accept it, they receive it. Uh, teacher, how do you say? Um, um, I don't remember the word. <laughs> cuando uno quiere, <laughs> cuando uno quiere como eh, enamorar al cliente, cuando uno quiere como persuade. Eh, persuade. Cuando uno digamos, ya me persuadir. Compró, uh -huh. Persuadir. Persuadir. Uh -huh. Persuade. 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 In English, you write it persuade. 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 Yes. Okay. So yeah, persuade. and that is very important. You need to persuade the client until he or she accepts. He says, okay, I want to taste it. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So let me visit another room. Uh, 33, um, um, what do you say? Uh, personal? Um, staff? Uh, staff, thank you. Uh -huh. And now we only have 19. Wow! Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult, but we have to have to improve and see what else can we do. So 14 yeah. people are, they went home, Helen. They went home. Okay. They went home, yes. When, when did they go I, home? And, um, exactly March 15th. Okay. That was the last day. All right. Of work. So, and tomorrow we are, that's why I say tomorrow is the worst. Do you remember? Uh -huh. Because tomorrow we have to do all the papers about that and they have to sign the the end of his or contract. Their contract mm -hmm. so. Oh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. But we are discussing about something else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it's good. You know, remember that the name of the program is Inglés para el Trabajo. So when you're talking about other topics that are related to work, it's it's fine. Mm -hmm. So you know it, it can. Now right now it's happening in Helen's company. You know tomorrow it might be happening in my company, Samuel's company, mm -hmm. Corales or Rocio's company. So it's okay. We are talking about everything works. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, right. and we have different uh, opinions Opinion. and different type of business. So different topics. It's interesting. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, and right here, you know, like you said, we have different opinions, and, and that is good. You 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 could say, okay, Coralia, she prefers option number one. I prefer the third option, and Helen prefers the last option. So everybody may have different opinions, but at the end, it's just practicing the language. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I prefer, I think that option four is very good. In, uh, mm -hmm. I think is it was, is if you, we are in a normal situation. Think, okay. In a normal situation. Okay. I what was, what was your option, Coralia? What number? Uh, number four? Number four. Two. Uh -huh. In the right space of the receipts. Uh, the receipts, yeah? The receipts. Yeah. Yes. I think it's good because the people can see. Can what? Can see? It's okay. Right, yeah. You can see the new the new options. Okay. Right. Uh, it's your... They maybe come back. Yeah. Okay, it's the new product. Sure. Burger King has that promotion that if you uh, feel and and what a voice and pulse a, exactly a pulse a, a pulse what, what was uh, the word <laughs> encuesta oh pulse, pulse. yes pulse, pulse uh -huh. Wendy's has <clears throat> has something like that if you Wendy's. if you do that they give you a dessert for the next for the next buy? Oh yeah, for the next the the mm -hmm. uh, the next time that you uh, buy something. Buy something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, because if in the in the right moment that you buy something new, they give you the the dessert. You're right. Exactly. Right. The dessert. Yeah. Dessert. Yeah. It, it's 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 good if you take part of a poll. You know, next time you visit, we'll give you. A free product, or we'll give you a discount on whatever you pay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Good option, too. All right. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Hmm. Uh, uh, in social network, not at website. I think okay. it's a difference. Website and social network they are different yes <laughs> yeah, they are different uh-huh we discuss hey, suddenly you discuss. show up yes 
<laughs> unexpectedly. <laughs> without saying anything. <laughs> yeah, so websites. Uh -huh, yes, Chimena. We don't understand the uh -huh. item number four. Okay. What okay. does mean white space of the rest? Receipts. Receipts. Okay. So, for example, Receipts. you go to Burger King, you go to McDonald's, Buffalo Wings, whatever, and they say, Ronald, here is your receipt, $25.40. <laughs> In the back part of the receipt, it's color white. Usually, there is nothing. So in some cases, they use the back part of the receipt to promote new, new items. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you understand the, 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 my explanation? It's just the same when the, in the ticket, for example, uh -huh. at McDonald's, I okay. think at uh -huh. McDonald's, uh -huh. they put a, a number. If okay. you introduce the number, on a website, uh -huh. they give you or gave you, for example, uh, I don't know a how free to say product. It, a free product. Uh -huh. Right, right. So that, that, that's exactly what it is. You pay, oh, okay. they give mm -hmm. you a receipt, and in the back part of the receipt that is usually blank, that's where people uh, use it. Ah, okay. Yeah. So they said, if you answer our questions, we will give you a free ice cream next time that you come. And people fill uh, it up. So because okay. if you're a frequent customer, you know that you're going back to the same business maybe mm -hmm. next week. So they said, I will have a free ice cream next week. You know? So mm -hmm. that's, that's a very good example that you gave about McDonald's. Okay. Thank yes. you. Yes. All right. Good. Hello. Hello? I, I Hello. hear I hear silence here. Why are you no, quiet? No. <laughs> no. Okay. We are discussing. Okay, so you're discussing like uh mentally <laughs> or something? No. <laughs> Fernando no, teacher. Where were you? Hi, teacher. Fernando? Uh I was uh was not in my house, teacher. I was working where my grandmother. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and your grandmother, what is the distance between your house and the house of your grandmother? Um, two, uh, hours, two, two hours. Two hours. Two hours, teacher. Yeah. Where, do, where does she live? She lives in Santa Ana. Uh -huh. I lie in the Congo. Yeah. Okay. Santana, the city. Santa Ana Norte. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Good job. Okay. All right. Um, so, what was your priority plan to introduce a new menu item what did you and your group discuss did you have the same opinions did you have differences what what happened we we have different opinions for example in my case uh, if i introduce a new menu i will use the social network because right now for for coronavirus a uh, people prefer share the information about your products in the social network. So I think okay. it's, 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 it's better than others. Okay, good. Someone else has a different opinion than Ronald's? Someone else? No? So, so Ronald was the only one with uh, with an opinion for this exercise? Someone else? No? In, in my group discussed about the social network, yes. 
uh, because it uh, have more coverage, but uh, we think uh, give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customer offer a recent visit. It's good because you, you guarantee um, you guarantee the purchase uh-huh because you use uh, maybe ad advertise the product in the white space in the recipes okay. and you uh, you give because they buy and you in the in the recipe and you guarantee other buy because it's uh it's a, maybe a coupon? Yeah, a coupon. Coupon. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Someone else has another opinion? Someone else? Someone else? No? We were discussed uh -huh. in the group. And also, we consider that the best option uh, is the social network. So all the people has a social network. And also, you can pay to Facebook to promotion the to make a promotion product, for example. Right, right. Yes. So everybody has a social media. So if everybody has a social media account, I think that announcing a new product there is it, it can be productive. Good. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? No? Okay, so let's go to our uh, last activity to finish the first block of the class. Uh, we are on part three. Let me see here. Part three. All right. So I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part three, please. Somebody. Only These one. examples of the step in an action plan to, the, to introduce a new product to the menu. Okay, good. What letter, is, uh-huh. Letter A, what action or change will happen? Letter B, who will carry it out? Letter C, when we will it take place? And for how long? Letter D, what resources are needed to carry out the change in letter E, communication? Who should know that? Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Are the questions clear, class? Questions A, from letter A to letter E, are they clear? The, the meaning of the uh, B question, uh -huh. who will carry it out, is like, will be responsible exactly who will execute okay. it yes who will execute it yes okay someone else has another question or comment no okay so letter b says number the following steps of the action plan may i have a volunteer to read the first parenthesis First parenthesis, please. Okay. The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. Through February, okay, thank you. Second parenthesis, uh, someone else? The chef create the receipt for the drink. The ah. manager approve it. For it, the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Very good. Uh, parenthesis number three, another volunteer. Advertising boards. Uh huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Advertising board and staff will be stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. Okay, another volunteer. Next parenthesis. The uh -huh. manager requests extra funding for this project 
the drink is made with herbs and are some, somewhat rare. rare, but they are not very expensive. All right, good. And the last one. A new, drink, a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Okay, good. Very good. To the menu. Okay, do we have any questions about vocabulary in this section? Somewhat. Uh, where are you? Which number? Um, four. One, two, three, four. four. Oh, somewhat. De alguna uh -huh. manera. Thank you. Yes, somewhat. In the number, in the number three, carry uh -huh. out is a yes. phrasal verb. Yes, it's a phrasal verb. Carry and, out. And what mean? Uh, to to make it effective. So uh -huh. you you make a plan. You need to analyze who's going to execute it. So in other words, who's going to carry out the the execution? Okay. Yes. Thanks. All right. Any a cargo. Exactly. Llevarlo a car, uh, uh, llevarlo a cargo. A yeah, right, right. Yep. Any others? What is the meaning of this word, recipe? The chef created the recipe for the drink. Receta. Receta, Receta right. If we're talking about food, you say recipe. It's right there, color blue, recipe. So, receta. If you're talking about food, what if it's about medicine? If it's medicine, you say prescription. Prescription. Yes. Let me write in the chat. If it's about food, you say recipe. No, I'm not writing anything. Food, you say recipe. If it's about medicine, medicine. What is the word for medicine? Prescription. Prescription, exactly. So if you go to a restaurant and you like the food, you tell the chef, hey, what is your recipe? If you go to the doctors, if you go to a clinic, the doctor is going to tell you, I have a prescription for you. This medicine is really well. Okay, so, um, what is, any, yes? Sorry, what is the meaning of extra funding for this project, funding? Funding means money. Funding. funding makes reference to money, yes. Okay, thank Fondos? you. Fondos, Fondos, right, interest. yes. Yeah, funding Extra means funding. Uh, money. Oh. Exactly. Thank you. All right, anybody else? Teacher, funding yes, sir. is like uh, in Spanish, financiamiento. Yeah. Uh, presupuesto. Fondos, presupuestos, recursos monetarios, it's related to money. Yes. So let's say you're planning to open a new business, but if you're trying to open a new business, you need to think about the funding. You need to think about the money that you will need. Right? Okay. Anybody else has any other questions? Comments? No? Okay, so let me take attendance. Uh, Sofia Escobar? Present. Okay. Uh, Fernando Arturo? Here, teacher. Good. Coralia Rivera? Present. Good. Ronald Humberto? Ronald? Present. Okay, good. Uh, Katia Marcela? Katia Marcela, she's not here. Okay. Jimmy Rodriguez? Present. Present. Uh, Christian Alexander? Present. Present. Okay. Josue Edgardo? 
Oh, he's not here now. Okay. Present, present. Where? Present. Here, here. Okay, good. Present. Okay, uh, Jimena Alexandra? Present. Okay, good. Samuel Rosales? Present. Okay. Uh, Rocío Mejía? Present. Good. Mercy Carolina? Present. Present. Ana Araceli? Present. Very, very good. María del Carmen? Present. Good. Uh, Helen López? Present. Okay. Luis Escobar? Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Stephanie Montano? Present. Very good. Christian Omar? Present. Okay, good. Wendy Guadalupe? Present. Okay, and the last one is Magdalena Emperatriz. Everything that happened. And she is absent. So we have uh, Magdalena and we have Marcela. All right, so this is what you need to do. For your next activity, you need to match these questions here with the information that we have in the chart. So if you think that this is the answer for letter C, then you will write letter C here. If you think that this is the question for the second one, you will write letter E here and so on. So you guys have to match the question with the statement. Is it clear? Yeah. 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 Okay, so let me, this time you guys are going to be working in pairs. So, room two, two, room two. Then we have move to room four. Move to room four. I want to change. Um, move to room six. Move to room six. And move to room eight. Move to room eight. So I try to change you guys. So here we go. The, the question, the question are in WhatsApp, no. No, no they're in the book. They are in the book. Ah, okay, sorry, okay. Teacher, okay, okay. Let um, me, so we yeah. have to match the question with the answer. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I think I already done. The number two who will carry out is um, that the the advertising staff have to promotion the the advertising board. 
don't know. The, is, I think, okay, the teacher said, send this. I will. I, just let me see. Yeah, oh, I, I will share. Same. Yeah, it, it, it's the same one. So you can take a, a screenshot right now if you wish. Or you can use okay. the one that I sent to the WhatsApp chat. The, the B, the B option says, or the B question says, who? ¿Quién se va a encargar? Exactly. ¿Quién se va a encargar? Who will carry, carry out? I think it's maybe, can be... For me, or the Yes, because they that the staff will be responsible to market the product. And you, Fernando, what do you think? Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, hey. how are you? Hello, I think letter A. I'm fine, what about you? <laughs> I'm doing okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to the option below than this other option. So in, in the case, in the case, what action or change will happen? O sea, aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es que nos dan cuatro opciones, ¿verdad? Hello, Entonces, boys. Hey, hello, Rocío. Aparecía hello. aquí de la nada. <laughs> <laughs> well... Entonces lo que tenemos que hacer es que tenés, tenés cuatro opciones, ¿verdad? Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a identificar... Put in order. Exacto. ¿Cuál de estas opciones sería la que encaja mejor a las opciones que ya nos está dando aquí abajo? Uh -huh. Sí. Sí. Mm. Mm. Arbers board and the stem chain. Complain that it's a loom. I think, I think, let up D. For me, the la, la, la tree, letter D. The four. Now, so, something that you guys need to be careful with is the WH word that they are using. So if the question says when, then the answer is related with time. If the question says who, then the answer is related with people. If the question says where, then the answer is related with places. Do you see what I mean? No. So, uh, so the, the WH question will indicate what the answer is. When, where, what, who, and all that. Mm -hmm. To be careful. We are okay. really done, teacher. Okay. You guys are going really fast. Yes. Jose really? Edgardo, he's back. Yes. <laughs> Were you having dinner, Josué Edgardo? Uh, sorry? Were you having dinner? Were you... Uh, I, what, what did... What... Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. I said, were you having dinner? Were you eating? What... I ate. No. The question is, were you eating? Si estaba comiendo. Ah, no. Uh, I, I uh, joined uh, late because I was in my suegra. Mother-in-law's. Mother-in-law's house. Mother-in-law's no. house. Mother house. And uh, I... Uh, the time uh, 
es, es, no sé, pasó, ¿verdad? Ok, pasó el The tiempo. Time Ajá. Flew. The Time Flew. No estaba muerto, andaba de parranda. I'm sorry for that. Ok. I, I will revise the, the video of the class and, and study the, the book. I'm so sorry. Sure, no, no problem. I was just asking. Ok. <laughs> All right, good. Change. I think I the letter P, maybe it where it's the line the manager requests extra funding for this project. The drinks is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. I think it's the letter B. I okay. think it's the number three. Somewhat agree, parcialmente de acuerdo. Somewhat satisfied, de alguna manera satisfecho. <laughs> yes, I think that de alguna manera. Okay, I, I, we, we finished, teacher. Okay, good. Yeah, we're finished. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. Okay, do you guys remember WH words or question words? Yes. Yeah. Okay, words. can you give me an example of a question word? How, no. How? Yes. How, when? Uh -huh. when? What? Okay. Kind of. Okay, so let's, let, let me write in the chat. Somebody said, how? When, when, who, where, who, what, who, what, what else? How much? Who, 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 which? 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 Okay, so you have how, when, where, when, who, what, and which. Which? So let me give you an example. Uh, if I said, where do you live? Where do you live? What is the answer? I live in Santa Miguel. I live in San Miguel. Okay, San Miguel, Sonsonate, Santa Tecla. Those three answers are places, right? What if I said, when is your birth date? When is your birth date? On May. Aha. Uh -huh. What is May? Time. Uh, time. 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 So what I'm saying is the following. If the question says who, then the answer is related with a person. Yes. If the question says where, then the answer is related to a place. If the question says when, then the answer is related with time. Got it? Yes. Okay. So what letter is the first parenthesis? The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in promotion that continues through February. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Very good. What about the second one? The chef created the recipe for the drink. The manager approved of it and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Letter we'll carry it out. Letter B. Letter B. How do you say B de bueno? B uh, as in boy. B as in boy. So if if you're having okay, if you're having a conversation on the phone, how do you say the letter in English? Spelling. Spelling. And and a person is spelling the name of the of the client or the name of the street. B sounds very similar to letter P. So you want to make sure that you're writing the correct information. So say B as in boy or P as in Peter. They say B as in boy, P as in Peter. So in English, when you're giving a uh, spelling, you have to mention words as reference. B, which B? B as in boy or V as in victory? or P as in 
Pomona. So you have to be careful with that one. Okay, what about... Uh, can, can you, teacher, can you write in the chat? Uh -huh. uh, how do you... P as in, P as in. It, that, yeah, like, like this, it's already in the chat. P as in Peter. P as in Peter, B as in boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Peter. now let me ask you, what letter sounds similar to this? What letter sounds similar to letter C? C. 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 So you're, you're, you're having a conversation, but there is a lot of static interruptions, whatever, and they say Z. So you said, did he say C as in Charlie or Z as in zero? So you have to ask, is that C as in Caroline or Z as in zoo? And then the client answers back and gives you the clarification of the word, of the letter, actually. Okay. What about the, the parenthesis number four? What is the answer? Letter D. Letter D. D, D. D or D. P? D. D. as in David. D. as in David. Okay. D. as in David. And what is the answer for the last parenthesis? A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Okay, letter A. Okay. Um, any questions about this exercise? No? So, uh, are you guys familiar with the um, alphabet, the one they use in airplanes, pilots, and all that? Uh, have you heard about this alphabet? No. The aeronautical no. alphabet? No. no. Alpha, Bravo, no. Charlie, Delta, Echo, mm. all of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so sometimes you say, um, P de... and there is no reference word for letter P. Or let's say B as in, and you don't know which word to use as reference. And that's the reason why when you go to a call center or if you want to be a pilot, it is necessary that you know the aeronautical uh, alphabet. So you guys need to practice with that. Okay, um, any questions or comments in the last exercise? I don't understand why we we have to, to learn the, the aeronautical alphabet. Okay, if if you are planning to work in a call center, English or Spanish, or if you're trying to work in the flying industry, it is necessary that you, you know the alphabetical, uh, the aeronautical alphabet. Yes. Okay. All right. Any other questions or comments? No? No. Okay, so no. right now you guys have to do some writing. So everything we have discussed is good, but now you have to put it on paper. Let me show it you here. Uh -huh. Okay, may I have a volunteer to read uh, part four? In pairs. Somebody. In pairs, use the. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, in pairs, use the step above as an example to write a basic plan to introduce a new product to the fast food restaurant. Define the strategies you will use in your action plan. All right, very good. Thank you. Now, what do you guys understand by the word action plan? What is an action plan? What's an action plan? Have you ever? Uh, that can be one. So for example, if, if, if I go to the doctors and the doctors tell me, Francisco, you have too much sugar in your blood. Here's the action plan to reduce it. 
What is the action? Como los pasos a seguir. Right. So the measures, the plan that you will do, that you will have to follow to uh, acquire your, your objectives. So what you will do, you guys will work in pairs. One of the two people will be taking notes. So you will have to write a small um, action plan about a product. Are the instructions clear? So yes. I, I, yes. if you decide, uh, well, I think that a good way to introduce a new product is this, and then you have to explain how you will use it. So let me... With her, with her, with her, and with him, and she will work with him. change with her so we have three three room four room four and i think that everybody else is set all right so let's do this Fernando. Hello, Mercy. For example, uh, see, if you want to say, eh, regalar de regalar, you say, I will give you. Mm -hmm. But if you want to say, eh, dar a algo gratis o regalar una muestra, you say, for mm -hmm. example. Ah, for example. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, a white. Um. Maria will okay. be taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are new product. Maybe, maybe a, a new combo for a fast food restaurant. Um, for me, the first step, um, maybe... Maybe to introduce and how do you say teacher precio de introducción? Introduction price. Introduction price. Yes. Uh, we use uh, introduction price. ¿Qué pasará? What is the problem, Christian? Christian, I can hear. Me too, I can hear you. Or oh, what do you, do you want, right, Christian? Right? And we speak with Luis. 
Christian, do you want to take notes? Yes. Do you want to write their mini report? Can you hear Teacher. me, Christian? Teacher. Yes, Coralia. Christian hear us, but he don't, we don't hear. Okay. Yeah, he must have to activate uh, his microphone. Photograph about the the product about the dessert. A I think the picture, picture is, is more attractive uh, for the people that want to buy this product. Like, I always uh, consider mm -hmm. that you you sell the the imaging about the product. I always consider that. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's a good way to to the, promote the image. The, the, if, uh -huh. you, if you take a, a good picture for the, of the product, you sell the ima image or the image. Right. Do you think? Yes, yes uh, Stephanie. Uh, how do you say? Uh, como un cartelito que ponen al centro de la mesa con con ese producto que está en promoción, como en la panadería San Martín, ponen como el, el menú así paradito en la mesa. Uh, Pero, I think that's the advertising corner. The, in English, people say the advertising corner, like um, if they want to sell this pen, they put it in a special position. So mm -hmm. that's the advertising corner or table, if you want. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Uh, and and for how long? When? Will uh, will um, maybe? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Jose, teacher. Uh, that, for 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 the example, for the pulse of the hamburger, we hear you a toys. What do you uh, mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The promotion. What? Uh huh. The promotion. Okay. What is the promotion for the burger? Uh, for the Happy Meal, they give uh, a toy for the right for the kids. Right. They give you a free toy. Right. No, but we are talking about that if our promotion will be for a specific uh, plate like the Happy Meal, that it, only if you buy the Happy Meal, they give you the, the toy, or like more like Subway, that if you buy whatever of the Bayar, Bayar, uh, variety, variety uh -huh. of the Subway or, or of the menu, they give you a, an apple or a, a snack or... Or they give you points. It, you, when you have point. a card, you show it and they give you points and you yes. accumulate the points. So, so that is your are, decision. We are discussed that. Okay. That, and how do you write or spell a specific? Specific? Yes. Let me write it for you. A specific. Specific. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. All right. Good. Okay, that our promotion is is that for the boy of a specific plate, we 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 will. Hello, hello. What hello. Ha what happened to Luis? He's gone. He's gone. I oh, I God. saw him, you know, like because the my screen tells me. There is one person without a group. So when I see it, I compare the groups and I send it somewhere else. Oh. Yeah, so let, let, let me bring him back. It's okay. Louis, Louis, room four. But I can hear Christian. Christian. 
so Christian is having problems with his microphone, I think. Yeah, we only hear, we only see his lips moving. Yes. <laughs> but we don't hear anything. You guys ready? Sure. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice cuando el mesero va con el carretoncito ofreciendo postres o bebidas? Ajá. O comensal se anime. ¿Cómo se le llama esa acción? Como cuando es obligación del mesero ir y, y promocionar así el. el, el okay. El... So, how do you say mesero in English? Waiter. Waiter. waiter or waitress, it depends if it's a man or a woman. So when the waiter is pushing the cart, he is promoting the yeah. product. So he's promoting. So in El Salvador, it depends where you are. They said, buy a los, el, el pan dulce, el café, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they, they promote the product. Okay. So the waiter okay. or the waitress promotes the product. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, good, very good. It's good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's if, if the, the client buy a new product, they will receive a 50% of discount. Okay, in the new, in the new product, 50%. 50 mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Okay, the second is um, the second step very, it's who will the manager. Manager. There are the new product. Yes. What could room six? <laughs> Hello, you guys ready? Ready, yes. ready, and ready. Oh, we have okay. the number, we have the name of the restaurant, the okay. kind of the food, we have several ideas, so here we go. So you guys are set. Yeah. Okay, so who has that information? Uh, Him. Him, okay. <laughs> Ronald, what's the information that you have? Well, uh, let me talk. Let me talk about our own business. Our business. the The name of the business is Crazy Tacos. But uh, the first idea is that provides free food, uh, maybe two or three days per per month. After that, we threw the advice in the social media. Okay. So besides that, we will create a page on internet. Uh, we have free delivery, and we can maybe we can give for all clients memberships. So other idea that Mercy give me gave me, and it, it was that we will give ten percent of discount. For, for the first 10 people that okay. arrive or that are business. Okay. And finally, we can, we can give for all customers two for one because we thought that it's a good idea. Maybe it's a bargain. A bargain, yes. A bargain. Okay, good. Sounds like a plan. Good. So I'll see you in a in a few minutes. Okay. Do you guys have your plan already? Yes. Okay. Who wants to share? Who's going to read the the plan? Samuel. I will read. All right, Samuel. I read it to you now. Yeah. Yeah. Read it, read it now. Okay. Our promotion is that for the boy of a new product or the whatever it is it, the product. But for the buy of a new product, we will give a 50% of discount in all of the rest of the menu. Okay. 
All right, good. Is that good or we have to add something? No, uh, no, it's, 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 that's nice and easy to, to follow. Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty good. Okay, thanks. All right, good. Hello, teacher. Hi, do you have your plan ready? Yes. Um, yes, teacher. Well, what is the I'm plan? Uh, the plan is um, we have a new combo. Uh huh. Uh, carry it out uh, the manager. And <laughs> uh, for how long to all the time? Uh, the resource, the resource. <laughs> yeah, the resources. The resources is um is a little border because it's a new combo. Okay. Is uh, Okay. And the communication to all the staff uh, of the new product. Okay. So you say that this plan is going to be permanent? Yes. All the time. All, all the time. Okay. So the new plan is here to stay? Yes. All right. Good. Nice. Let me go to uh, room four. Okay. Do you yes, have yes. your plan ready? It's almost ready. Okay, good. So I'll come back to you guys. Okay. I'm almost. Okay, almost ready. Almost ready. Okay, do you guys have your plan ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, what is the plan? Who's going to present it? Me. <laughs> okay, Jimena. Hi. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. We think about a dessert. A combination of, of a lot of ingredients like red velvet, cheesecake, and, and fruit. We think this dessert, the promotion, it's on May, especially in Mother's Day, but the offer during all, all month, all the month. And we think uh, we announce our product on social network. Okay. And uh, we think it's important to, to take a good picture and I don't know how to say, subir, upload. At, upload. upload at the social network with the, with the offer. Okay. And we think on a restaurant a promotion, this, this dessert uh, with advertising corner because the clients see the the images images yeah. of the all the time okay and uh, we think another way to promotion the the product it's about uh, the waiter with the with the card pushing the card with the card yes Okay. And I think it's our action plan. <laughs> good, good. That's very nice. Very creative. Okay, so let me visit two more rooms and then we go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. I, I will send you my address and maybe you can deliver it. Uh, we can oh. make hello okay. do you have your 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 action plan ready yes. yes okay who's going to present it wendy or jimmy wendy what is your action plan jimmy okay the action plan is number one we have to make a budget uh-huh make a budget and number two, we have to make a uh, strategies and um, chart goals. Uh huh. 
And number three, define the use to social networks. Mm -hmm. And number four, define the price to the products. Uh -huh. Number five, define the king of kind. promotion kind of promotions we can use. And number six, may I make a survey to know the degree. As, as of acceptance. Thing. Okay, good. Now, uh, you mentioned promotion. What kind of promotion do you have in mind, Wendy? Uh, we can start to use the two for, two for one. Okay. For a new product, uh, the first step to the promotion is make uh, some example samples and two two for one okay yeah two for one is a it is very effective everybody likes two for one it is so attractive for the customers right right very good okay so let me visit the last room and then we go back to the main session okay and uh, the our building back to our building Eva will be back on our birthday. So we had many guesses from that 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 company. And when they closed, they all went. <laughs> okay. Do you guys have your action plan ready? Yes. Yes. What is your action plan? Who's going to present it? Helen. Sofia. <laughs> 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 Mega, no, Sofia. The, the, the two of you have good participation, so I'll let whoever you want. Okay, we have to do right now or? Yeah, right now, right now. Mm -hmm. So okay. what do you have? Uh, I will say two and then you can say two, Sofia. What? Okay. Okay. So the first one will be identify the new product and then identify the segmentation advertise. Well, I don't know if we say in the, in the right way. Identify, identify. identify. Uh -huh. Yeah, identify the segmentation advertise is we saying that uh, to know to who we are going to, to advertise the new product. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the first two. Your audience. Yeah, thank you. Uh huh. Audience. And then direct the communication for a specific segment. Okay. And then make the costing and the and then put the right profit. Right. The right, pr right price for get a uh, profit. Okay. Yeah, so the price is really important. If you, uh, let's say you start selling this and your profit is going to be 25 cents for each. But if you sell this in big quantities, you will have um, good profit. Good profit yeah. because if you have a huge, um, I don't know how to say production. 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 The the prices go usually go slow, go low, and and then you have better ganancias. Profit. Profit. You can use profit too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. That was our plan. Okay. Good. Anything else, Sofia? And select the stuff that carry carry out up the project. Okay, good, good. All right, good. Congratulations. Let's go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. San Salvador, uh, next, uh, Mexicanos. Uy, entramos todo. Yes.
we don't listen, teacher. Me neither. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so you say Francisco is moving his mouth, but we don't we don't hear anything. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> A good job, good job. Everybody did a good job. You have presented your ideas uh, in a clear, meaningful way. Any questions or comments? No? No. Okay, so now we go, we only have like 10 more minutes of class and uh, we need to start mentioning could and might. So when you go to page 15, in part one, you will find uh, two questions. Let me see if I have it here. No, that's not it. Right here. Okay, hold on. All right. So the question is, what is a promotional activity? How do you create successful promotional activities for your restaurant products? Um, you guys answered that question already. Uh, you offer two for one. You offer free products. You offer people to complete uh, surveys in the back part of the receipt, uh, different things. Okay, so let's go to part two. Let's go straight to the conversation. Um, how many people are there in the, in the conversation? Three. Two people. Three. 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 We have Carla. Oh, three people. Okay, we have Carla, Mr. Sanders, mm -hmm. and... So oh. do we have two or three? Two. 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 Okay. Two. Now, let's talk about the drawings, uh, the images. What is she wearing? Can you give me a telephone? Phone? Okay, she's she's using a telephone. And what is she wearing? A yellow uh, She's wearing a yellow uh, jacket. A yellow okay. jacket. Okay, yellow sweater, a yellow jacket, a yellow blouse. What else? Uh, glasses. Glasses. Blue glasses. Blue glasses. Does she have long hair, short hair? Long hair. Long hair. Long hair. Okay. Long. All right, and what about the guy? What is he wearing? A blue. He's wearing a blue shirt. Long white? Okay, a blue long sleeve um, long sweater sleeve. jacket. Okay, so we have two people. I need two volunteers. I need Carla and I need Mr. Sanders. Carla, where is Carla? Carla? Okay, Maria, thank you. And Mr. Sanders? Mr. Sanders? Mr. Sanders? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Josue Edgardo, go ahead. One, two, three. Yes, smile, we're almost finished. Go ahead. Luigi is going to introduce a new king of spice, spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an uh, action plan, but we need to save costs and get consumers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper, pepper? Stick, pepper sticks that never sell. Then customer will get the green pepper, pepper sticks and pepper, pepper stick. Sorry, <laughs> pepper okay. sticks, and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. Uh huh. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. Uh huh. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a connect a concert concert, concert or a baseball game you could offer a discount to people who both a ticket for the event uh -huh. oh then i will call you later we is on site the restaurant giving free samples 
but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. All right, good, thank you. Any questions about pronunciation or meaning of vocabulary in the conversation? The meaning of might. Might. It's like, uh, querrás. Querrás. Querrás tener una actividad. So when you make, mm -hmm. when you use could and might here, we use them to give suggestions. Like in the first one here, you could discount. Podrías descontar. Yes. Querrás querer tener una actividad promocional. You could offer, podrías ofrecer. So when we use could and might here, we are um, giving suggestions, we're giving advice. What's the meaning of spicy? What is the spicy in the last word? Exactly. What is another form to say spicy in English? Hot. Hot, very good. So remember the word hot does, it doesn't make reference only to the weather, but also to, also to food um, uh, sensations like hot, spicy, sour, and different things. Okay, any questions or comments about this uh, conversation? Me, teacher. Yes, ask me, Jimena. In the part, uh, hook them up yes. with the spicy pizza. Hook okay. them up. Hook them up. Does anybody know the meaning of this expression? Enganchar. Yes. Hook, the word hook means gancho. Now, when you say hook them up, that's exactly what it means, enganchar. So, ahí los enganchas con la pizza picante. Hook them up. Hook them up. Yes. Hook them up. Hook them up. Any other questions or comments, people? Um, me, teacher. Yes. The pronunciation of the word bow. B O U G H T. But, yes. But. But. But is the past tense of what verb, class? Buy. 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 Yes, mm. it's el verbo comprar en tiempo pasado. But mm -hmm. is the past tense of buy. But. Yes. Okay. All right. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? Sticks, paper sticks. Aha, uh -huh, paper sticks. Does anybody paper. know the meaning of paper sticks? Okay, green pepper, uh, palitos. Green pepper sticks. Oh. Yeah, sticks makes reference to barras, palitos, uh, bread sticks. In this case, you're talking about green pepper sticks. Como palitroca. It could be, yes. Yes. If you want to say palitrocas, you will say breadsticks. Breadsticks. Yeah, breadsticks. Uh huh. Yes. Any other questions or comments, class? I just want to verify. Uh, Katia Marcela, is she present or is she absent? She's absent. Uh, Magdalena Emperatriz, are you here? Nope, she's absent and that was it. Um, are there any questions or comments? Any questions? How or do comments? you write absent? Absent, good question. How do you write absent, class? Um, absent. I wrote it in the chat. A B S E N T. Absent. Okay. Yes, absent. So remember, the right pronunciation is absent, not ausent. It's absent. <laughs> absent. Absent. Yes, absent. What is the opposite of absent? 
Present. 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 Exactly. Good. Are there any questions or comments, class? Before you guys are dismissed? No. No? Okay, so remember? Present. Yes? Yeah. Oh, my. What do you mean? Which one? All my. All mine. Uh -huh. all, all mine is an expression that people say when you are impressed about something. Said, like you see a car accident, it says, oh my. Huh? Oh my. It's the short version of saying, oh my God. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. My. Yeah, oh my. Okay. Any other questions or comments, class? Before we go to sleep? No? So once again, thank you for your time. Tomorrow we have our last session and then we have like 10 days off. So have a good night, get some rest and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you. See ya. Teacher, pasó lista. Yes, I did. Uh, yo estoy pre present. Yes, I know you're present. And that's why <laughs> okay. I mentioned only the two names, Marcela okay. and Magdalena, because I know two people okay. were absent. Yes. All right, good. See you tomorrow. You, All right, good. See you. Bye-bye. See you.